Hello everyone, thank you for joining me on this third day of my mini-series with the Simon Says 2015 car kit. Today I'm going to use some of the pattern papers that are included in this kit and they are all double-sided pattern papers. They, they come two of each. And I'll also be using one of these acetate sheets that's included. So I'm going to first cut these to the size of my card. I'll be using a rectangle die and this is a stitched rectangle die from Simon Says. And I'm going to cut a panel right in the center of my card here. And here it is. This will be the front of my card. I chose that rectangle die because it has the perfect size for me to use with this acetate sheet that I can glue on the back because um, that rectangle die cuts a rectangle slightly smaller than my acetate, acetate piece here so I can glue this down. So I'm just gonna use the liquid glue and you can also use double sided adhesive tape. I think I'm going to cut this uh, to be s smaller as I want some of those stars to show in the background. So I have here my card base and I want this to be raised up. So I will first adhere this down with some adhesive tape. You can also transform this into a shaker card. I'm not going to do that. Uh, today And I will be using some foam tape for this panel here. But I'm going to add some sequins that will be just glued down and won't move around. And I want some gold ones. So I'm going to go with three sequins. I can now remove the backing paper of my phone. And this is very thin, it doesn't add too much dimension. But um, I prefer this because then it will probably uh, create too much shade to this greeting here and it will be kind of messy. And now I see that uh, somehow I did the wrong measurement of the pattern paper there and you can see the acetate sheet here. I don't know what happened actually. And I try to remove this, but uh, it is so, so sticky that I'm just going to ruin my card. And I think I want to add a border all around this window here. So I will be using the die that I cut, the rectangle, and a slightly bigger one, so that I can have that uh, frame. And I'm going to use this pattern paper here. I don't know if the color will work, but I will just cut it and if it and if they won't work, I will try another pattern paper. Okay, seems the colors work pretty nicely. I'm gonna put liquid glue onto this because I want to be able to move it around a bit to align it um, perfectly with my window there.
Okay, so that finishes my card for today. It wasn't a easy card for me to do. I had to... I really wanted to use one of those acetate sheets, so I'm glad I could incorporate it in a way or another onto my card. I hope I gave you some ideas. I thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.